Hello there, we're back with another exciting CNN 10. I'm Sam Kanopik, and today the top story is Ancient Roman Carthage, the Battle of the Punic Wars. Let's go to Professor Kanopik for the report. Hello there, today I will be talking about the Punic Wars. The Punic Wars were fought between 264 BC and 146 BC. These were a series of three wars whom Rome, Republic, and Carthage fought. The basic story was Rome was a powerhouse and destroyed Carthage, and the city was burned to the ground. I know I am not that punny, but if you give me a little time, I think I can come up with something wonderful. Hannibal, the leader of the Carthaginian army, promised that they would win and be victorious. But what they did not know is Rome were their only competitors. This led to their downfall. At first, Hannibal was a great war leader. He led 85,000 Romans into a trap with, a, with his men of only about 50,000 and other tribal groups, which equaled about 50,000, and he led them into a trap that ended their demise and killed about 70,000 Romans. Rome rebuilt their army to confront Carthage's powerful navy, scoring their first victory at Mile in 260 BC. They had also scored another huge victory at Acnamis in 256 BC. Rome had not given up and in 241 BC, the Roman fleet was able to win and get a victory over the Carthaginians at sea. It was, they destroyed their naval fleet. At the end of the First Punic War, Rome took control of Sicily. This was their first overseas province. The next Punic War, the Second Punic War, was held between 218 and 201 BC. Rome took control over Corsica and Sardinia. But now also Carthage had established themselves in Spain. This started in 237 BC. While this was all happening, they were under new leadership of Hamilcar Barca and later his son-in-law, Hasdrubal. Rome had finally reached Cannae in 216 BC, but the Carthaginians surrounded the Roman army twice their size and inflicted much damage and killed many, resulting in many casualties. But after this event, Rome reigned victorious in Spain, and they held Spain and North Africa under the under the new Roman. Hannibal loses the second war, and eventually destroys Carthage's empire in the Western Mediterranean. But the Rome was nice enough to say, "We will take Spain, and you can have your." North Africa. But there were rules to this. Carthage had to pay Rome in silver and give up its fleet. So the third war was very controversial of the three conflicts. And as you can guess it again, Rome wins. Hello, this is Professor Canopic signing off for now. I will see you next time. But Professor Canopic, you didn't do the grapes of history in Rome. You should know them well enough yourself. Well, all right. Now, Rome was a peninsula. It was good for farming. It had a, It was on top of a hill, and it had a lot of mountains. Um, basically, they worshipped Greek gods, but in Roman mythology, but the names are changed. And they were not a fan of Christians or Jews, which... It ended them in being beheaded and killed. Now, what I just said, or what Professor Kanapik just said, was one of their great achievements was winning the Punic Wars, creating the Colosseum, and the aqueducts. Monarchy, oligarchy, democracy. Rome switched a lot of its political structures over a period of time. And in many nations back then, farmers used slaves, but Rome used them too. And coins were made of valuable metal. Patricians, wealthy, related to the, related to the founders of Rome, and 
Koblians were just regular people. I hope you enjoyed the CNN 10. Um, we'll see you next time. I'm signing off for now. Sam Kanapik. Peace.